Hi, I'm Dave Williams. I'm 28, I'm from Manchester. If you'd have seen me a couple of years ago, you wouldn't recognise me. I was six foot three and 21 and a half stone. Um, that was my biggest that I've been. Um, and I'd say the worst, really. It's no motivation. I never really did exercise. I never wanted to. All I wanted to do was sit at home watching TV and eating. I was 26 and feeling really ill and having to sit down and stuff. And it, it, it just made me think something not right here. And I had a diabetes and cholesterol check because the diabetes and well, cholesterol both were in the family and found out that it was borderline diabetic and high cholesterol. And it, it, do, it hits you like a train. And I didn't want to be, you know, on tablets for the rest of my life. And if I carried on the way I was going, I wouldn't even make it to 35. I, I was bad, very bad. I had to make changes, and little changes can make big differences. Like, instead of getting the bus to work, I got a bike and a cycle to work, seven and a half miles. At first it was difficult getting there, bright red, but after, say, three weeks or two weeks, it gets easier and you notice it getting easier and then you notice your trousers getting a bit looser and it just inspires you to do it even more. And for the time it takes me to get the bus to work, I can actually cycle there and it saves me five pounds a day and I'm losing weight, so it's great. For breakfast, I don't eat as much pastries or cakes and stuff like that. And I eat a lot more fresh fruit, bananas, smoothies. Their smoothies are brilliant. Morning, Jay. You all right? Morning, Jay. Right? Yeah, not bad. So when I get to work, I get my porridge. I have uh, I have it all ready. Milk in, stick it in the microwave two minutes, go and get changed, and by the time I get back, it's ready. And then I have stuff like blueberries or bananas for the sweetness in there. And or if I don't do that, just a tiny bit of sugar. I work at Manchester Airport. I look after passengers with reduced mobility, so anyone requiring assistance going through the airport, we uh, take from either, say, check-in to the aircraft or from the aircraft to arrivals. So where are you off to today? Inverness. Perfect, that's exactly what I've got down on here. I'll just go and get your chair back in a minute. You know, when you're pushing some passenger down, the, down to their aircraft and you, you're going from one end of the terminal to the other and it's quite a distance. You exactly get sunshine in Manchester. Before I was uh, red, sweating, and but now it just doesn't bother me. I just whiz them down there and, and I feel fine. Perfect, brilliant. We have uh, an ambilift, well, you know, so you don't have to do the stairs. When you get in from work, put the bike in, get changed into, uh, into my jogging gear and I just go out have a quick 20 minute jog around the streets. Um, you know, whatever, whatever the weather, get yourself out there and just go for it. It's free and it's great fun. After I'd lost a bit of weight, a friend of mine turned around and said, uh, do you fancy coming kayaking? Because uh, now you won't actually sink it. So I was like, yeah, go on then. And went out and really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it that much, I actually went out and bought my own. And I, I, I do it quite a lot now, on my days off. Try to get out there and get your packed lunch. Just go, do a few miles, have something to eat, come back. It's great fun. Before, I used to really enjoy my food, but it was always, always the wrong type of foods that I enjoy, like a massive plate of chips. Whereas now, it's enjoying the right type of foods, and I do enjoy my food. But you can have an even bigger portion now, because it's not fried, it's fresh veg. Yeah, I've got myself a diet plate, and what it does, it tells you exactly what amount of foods to have uh, in the plate, and it, it directs you exactly of how much you should be having. Say if you're eating fresh food or fresh uh, vegetables, you can have a plate full. Whereas if you're having rice and pasta, you just have a little bit. So it's great for portion sizes. So, been busy at work? Yeah, I've done a few bookings today. Depending on what we're working, because um, I work till half seven at night, um, either myself or my girlfriend Jamie Cook. Changes I've done haven't been difficult at all. She's been losing weight, so from me doing it, and she's now um, exercising more, walking to work and stuff like that. So it's great, it's the, the two of us are doing it together.
I didn't want to uh, have a heart attack or a stroke and end up not being able to, you know, look to the future. But now I actually feel excited for the future and I, I can't wait to see what, the, what it holds for me and what it'll bring. So yeah, bring it on, that's what I say. I was a dead man walking. The time has come for me to take action. I was 17 stone two and now I'm 12 stone and I feel absolutely brilliant. Now I actually feel excited for the future. You're told that you have a disease that's going to be with you for the rest of your life. It was an absolute shock. I love my life now. You know, there's a future and I'm going to live it, believe me.